Qatar participates in the 106th session of Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons Executive Council. The Qatari Zakat Affairs Division of Awqaf provided 11.6 million Qatari riyals in aid last month. Qatar Fencing Federation hosted a fencing festival for the community and guests from Palestine. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar is participating in the 106th session of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons Executive Council in The Hague from July 9th to 12th. There, the envoy to the Netherlands, Mutlaq bin Majid al Ghattani, urged non-signatories of the Chemical Weapons Convention, particularly Israel, to join the treaty to help establish a Middle East free of weapons of mass destruction. He highlighted the war in Gaza, where Israel's use of prohibited weapons has resulted in the deaths of more than 38,000 Palestinians. Meanwhile, the Department of Zakat Affairs at the Ministry of Endowments and Islamic Affairs in the month of June provided assistance worth 11.6 Qatari riyals, benefiting 370 families across Qatar. Head of the Zakat Collection and Accounts Department explained that the aid given in June was divided into two categories. Periodic assistance totaling 6.8 Qatari riyals was distributed monthly to help families meet their needs for food, drink, and housing, while lump sum aid amounting to 4.8 Qatari riyals was provided to families based on specific needs. In other news, the Qatar Olympic Committee, in collaboration with the Ministry of Social Development, Development and Family and the Qatar Fencing Federation hosted a fencing festival on Wednesday at the QFF training hall for various community groups and guests from Palestine. The one-day festival gathered numerous amateurs, fencing enthusiasts, and members of the Qatari community, including 20 participants from Palestine. Participants of all ages showcased their skills in fencing disciplines such as epee, a foil, and saber under the guidance of well-trained coaches. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website and download our app.